Hello and welcome. MuleSoft Integration Associate Certification exam is live now and I'm sure you must be curious to know what this exam is all about, who should give this exam, etc, etc. And this is what exactly we are going to cover in this video. So before we proceed, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do it immediately and you can also check the other videos in my channel. So let's move ahead and let's check it out. So the bottom line is that this exam is not meant for mule developers or architects. So if you are already working as a mule developer and if you have done MCD L1 or MCD L2 certification or if you are working as a mule architect with MCI or MCPA certification, then this certification is not meaningful for you. I mean, you can do this certification, you can add one more certification in your resume, but if you look from the objective of this certification, then it is not adding any value to, to your resume or to your skill set if you are already MULE certified in MCD or uh, architect certification. This certifies that individually is able to work as an informed member of MULESOFT project team. So informed is a very important word here. This exam or this certification does not certify that someone is able to work as a developer or as an architect on MULE project. What it certifies as that this particular individual is only the inform member which means that he understand mule technologies he understand uh, the concepts or terminologies which are discussed when we talk about any mule project but he may not be or he is not the one who can work on this project so in other words this is more uh, suitable to project managers scrum masters or the product owners this exam helps you to recognize some integration problem, deconstruct them into the integration use cases and identify the inappropriate technologies to solve them. So as I said, if you're working as a, uh, as a scrum master of a mule team or if you're working as a product owner who are owning the mule uh, development or mule delivery team or if you are a delivery manager. So in that case, this certification will give you the ample knowledge. Uh, to understand the common mule terminologies it will help you to understand what is the benefit of using mule as an integration platform what are the different offerings that mule has and uh, what are the different uh, uh, concepts or terminologies which are often discussed when we talk about any mule project is it a substitute for mcd level one i think i already answered that that this is not this is more of an informative exam for mule to have the high level understanding of mule so when i say high level it is just a hawk view of a, a the mule paradigm and so for whom this exam is meant for so it is meant for the product owners so if you are managing a team of uh, mule developers then with this exam you will know about the different stories the user stories when you create for your developers you will know what they are talking about you will know their challenges you will be able to correlate with their uh, problems or uh, their work and that will help you to do your work effectively other is the scrum master and same applies to scrum masters also if you are working as a scrum master for a mule team and finally for the technical project managers and who does the similar kind of uh, uh, role uh, as that of a scrum master and product owner so it would be very beneficial for the project managers to know the common terminologies or the delivery models so that they are better aligned uh, with the mule soft uh, deliverables is it free no it will need 125 dollar uh, voucher if you want to appear for this exam or if you already have the mules of credit then 0.5 credit is required the link is in the description and you can check on the training portal about uh, this training credit which you have so let's talk about the format so this exam is not uh, as that of the mcd or mcia or mcp exam it is a short exam it contains only 40 questions the questions total duration is 90 minutes but as the questions are pretty uh, theoretical or straightforward so from that perspective 90 minutes is definitely sufficient for you to answer all the questions in fact you would be able to answer all the questions in even half of the time which is provided to you the passing uh, cut off is 70 percent and which means you have to answer at least 20 questions correctly the exam is multiple choice there could be few questions for which uh, only one answer is correct there could be few questions for which you have to choose the multiple answers it is closed book and proctored as it is the case with the other mule certification exams uh, the exam is available only in english and the max attempts allowed are five 
so let's talk about the different trainings that are available so at this point of time there is no official training provided by mulesoft for the certification uh, it is expected that by the beginning of 2023 the training would be available for you to uh, for the book on the mulesoft training portal then what are the resources which you can use in order to prepare for this exam so one is the practice exam on mulesoft training portal you can uh, you can enroll for that exam for free so if you already have the training account created you can uh, just log in and you can go to uh, the certification tab and there you will get the link to register for the practice exam the other is the mule certified integration associate trail mix it includes the list of tasks and different links that you can go through in order to prepare for the certification i'll provide that link of uh, uh, this trail mix also in the description section so that will give you a kind of a road map in order Order to prepare for this certification then you can also make use of the udemy practice test which is created for this certification it contains 50 questions uh, as of today and the questions are matching the difficulty and pattern of the real exam and these exams are regularly updated with any changes in the data sheet and the course content and uh, the instructor usually uh, takes all the efforts to to ensure that it covers all the necessary topics all the necessary concepts that you need to know in order to pass this exam in first attempt with flying colors so i have already added this uh, link in the description which has the code embedded in it so with that coupon code you can get discount up to 50 percent uh, uh, on udemy platform so if you face any issue with the link you can add uh, leave a comment uh, in the comment section and i'll help you with that and finally let's talk about some of the key skills that uh, will be developed as a part of this training and certification so identifying the roles and responsibilities and life cycle phases of a typical integration project then recognizing the essential integration and mules of terminologies used by the architects and developer so as i was already telling these key skills that uh, that are being offered they resemble to the ones that are required by the project uh, by the product owners or the technical project managers then explain the common technical complexities around the integration development and describe the components and benefits of any point platform for system integration and api management so looking at the key skills my opinion that my opinion is that this uh, certification or the training associated with this certification is uh, suitable for product owners because with the help of this training they will know the different terminologies and concepts and it will help them to manage their team uh, in a better way so that's it about this certification if you have already given the exam do let me know your experience in the comment section and also what are your thoughts about this this certification please add it in the comment section and i'll be very happy to read them so that's it in this video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one happy learning